Hey my loves, yes, so this is my updated foundation highlight and contour routine. I get a lot of questions about that and it's step one, highlight, step two, blend, step three, foundation, step four, powder and set, step five, contour, step six, blush. Let's go. This is real easy to follow and this is my look with absolutely no makeup on. This is with my eyebrows on. And now we're gonna go in with the LA Pro Concealer. You can use that, which is really nice from any beauty supply store. Well, a lot of them carry it. You can use the Studio Finish Concealer from MAC or whatever concealer you want. I like to use a Beauty Blender sponge and you're gonna kind of take it in a V formation underneath each eye. You wanna fill in the V and you want to be careful with this LA Pro because it can get to be a little bit thick so you don't need to use a lot because if you use a lot it can go all over the face and then you look highlighted all over so just use a little you're gonna kinda look tribal and you take it down the center of the nose a little bit right at the top of the lip and then a little bit under the chin or on the chin I should say so that's kind of the look right there once you have that you're gonna take your blending sponge. You can also use your fingers. If you use your fingers, I would say use a patting motion, or you can use some type of foundation brush or blending concealer brush. So of course, I'm using the sponge and I did wet it very good, squeeze it really good underwater, and just kinda of taking it underneath the eye. Now, I like to kinda of press mine into the skin and then I start to do patting motions. To really blend so I'm just gonna speed that up but that's all I'm doing is patting it to really blend it in now I'm going in with studio match master from Mac and taking just two pumps and I like to put the foundation in the areas that I have not put the highlight so I'm bouncing it on my skin and then I start to just bounce it all over and blend it into the highlight not so much over the highlight, but just kind of in it, um, you know, underneath it, and just really making sure that the foundation is the color of your skin and that the highlight is not overtaking it. You want to just keep doing this until you see your color come through. Now I'm going in with Topaz by Ben Nye. This is the Banana Pop Nye banana powder but I have the color topaz I also use uh, the banana powder but I just decided to use topaz today and I'm taking the sponge that I got from Mac well it's like a makeup pad or whatever you want to call it and just really pressing that into the highlight and like my girl makeup by Lena baby says you kind of let this cook a little bit so you're just kind of letting it sit on your skin to really set your highlight now I'm going in with covergirl ebony bronzer while that powder just cooks a little bit and I'm going in with a nice firm brush and creating my contour. I start from underneath the cheekbone blending upward around my forehead and of course underneath the jawline. Then of course I take a nice firm brush whatever kind that you have is fine and natural hair brushes work the best to me for this and creating a contour down the sides of my nose. And then on the tip, it kind of helps shorten the nose. Okay, so I take a nice fluffy brush. This is kind of a flat top kabuki and just kind of take that powder off. You can put a shimmering powder on if you'd like or a highlight powder. And then I go in with my Raisin and Peaches Blush from MAC. These are my two favorites. As you can see, my peaches, I really use that a lot. And then, of course, put that on the apples of the cheek, and I blend backwards because I don't want it in a circular formation more in the upward. And that is my look. Oh, and stay tuned. I do have videos for this hair look. It's an easy braid out as well as this makeup look. Make sure you take care of your health and do your monthly brush check. See you in another video. Bye.